<laughs> what our prime minister's doing, yeah? This is what our prime minister's doing, man. Yeah. Playing pool with all the politicians while we're all here, struggling away, wondering. While where we're, the next we're deal's literally coming. heated debates about Brexit. She's chilling. And look what she. Look, look at her having a laugh, having a laugh with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh wait, we need to bang R. Kelly on the topics. Bang R. Kelly, man. I don't want to bang R. Kelly. <laughs> then he do the banging. Because <laughs> me and Kay's about to tear this shit up. We're about to, we're about to take world topics. We're about we're about to tell them how it's done. Tell them how it's done. We're about we're about to just rip things apart right now. Yeah, right. We're about to well, I'm in decipher. A brand new parliament right here on Twitch. Yeah, listen, the, people don't decipher the topics of the world, and that's what me and Kay's are going to do right now. First topic, Brexit. I want to know. I, I want to know what, what do you think of Brexit as a whole right now, just in general. Like personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Brexit is a bit of a joke at the minute, man. You know, Brexit's a. But I tell you what. I tell you what about Brexit. Right? It's just. A, it's just a fucking. It's just. Politicians are just, they're just, oh, they're just fighting over power, man. They don't give a fuck about the country. Exactly. They're, they're all voting for a deal that benefits themselves. So they're thinking about themselves, you know what I mean? Like, they're not thinking about the working man, you know, the guy that gets up at six o'clock every morning to go to work, to come home and get the bread and milk for his family and kids. Now, you know what, man? <clears throat> pump on me. Yeah. <laughs> Teresa, pump, pump on, on me. me. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. This is. Uh, let me tell you guys something, man. This is taking the piss. Yeah. So while we're out here, and we're where they're like, oh, what's what's happening with Brexit? What's happening with Brexit? What's what's going on with Brexit? Like, oh, like we got till May. Was it? No, sorry, March twenty ninth. But Brexit mm -hmm. goes through. No deal. All this bullshit. Yeah. All right. I tell you what, Pump on May's doing right now. Yeah. All right. She's in fucking Charmel shape. What well, our prime minister's doing, yeah? This is what right. our prime minister's doing, man. Yeah. Playing pool with all the politicians while we're all here, struggling away, wondering. While where we're, the next we're literally coming. heated debates about Brexit. And she's chilling. And look what she. Look at her having a laugh, having a laugh with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's cheating. You see that? Yeah. She had an extra ball up her sleeve. <laughs> That's a head. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking cyborg. Oh my god. Are you taking the piss, Theresa May? Theresa May, if you ever watch this, right? If it's ever got to you, you're a dickhead. Yeah. You're actually a dickhead. You are. It's not the fucking country out. Right? Stop trying Stop to cling to power. Stop playing fucking pool, right? Let the big boys pay pool. Did it? Yeah, because they they rematch. they was a rematch, and now KSI is like, nah, I want to fight Dax, and it, he offered to pay for Dax to come to London to spar for three days, and Dax is currently waiting to go on a tour, so there's yet to be more word on that. But See, who, I, who do you think would win? I, it's got to be KSI. Let me let me look at this Dax guy. Let me look at this guy. Let me see picture. Oh God. I don't know what this Looks is. like Sideshow Bob. <laughs> he got a mop head, hasn't he? Proper bad, mate. Proper is this bad. the guy? This is the guy who's going to fight? Yeah. Is this a joke? No, that's actually him. <laughs> He's got tits. He looks like a fucking detention desk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Are you sure this is the right guy? Or is it someone else? No, it's actually him. That's him. Bro, this That's guy's... Dax. It's KSI it's actually. Yeah. Hex. Let, let me see KSI. No, oh, bro, KSI, KSI is fucking... Oh. KSI. Boxing. Is this his build? What the fuck? Yeah. Wait, is this before... Oh, wait, wait. This is where I'm fighting Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah. T uh, type in weigh in K KSI weigh in. KSI weigh in. He, he might have tensed for that. Oh, he's actually where's his where's his pecs? He's a bit bigger now, you know. He's actually getting yeah. bigger. Who's this? 
Logan Paul actually ha- like legitimately has a, has a has a strong looking body. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he has a wrestling background. He did it through college and you know, like they did, they did it. He did it through college and you know, like the where they do it on the mats and stuff. Yeah. Now you know what, man. I think KSI would wrap up that Dax guy. Though. He actually would, mate. Yeah, he'd he wrap, would he'd wrap up that Dax guy. Though. I'd fight both of you at the same time. Honestly. Same, I'd use one hand for each. <laughs> you want cheek? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Suffocate him. Next topic, PewDiePie vs. T series. What is this bullshit? Can someone explain to me this fucking bullshit? Right? Listen, I don't give a fuck about like PewDiePie or the T series. Everyone's talking about there's some sort of war or something on YouTube. Like, what's going on? Tell me, case. Right. I don't get it. What is what is this shit? So basically, this obviously like, PewDiePie has been like the top subscribed youtuber for years like nobody's ever gone past him right then t series comes along starts getting like mad growth first of all first of all let me tell you something right because my, my, mo- my, my mother's indian so yeah. she watches she watches like the, the you know the fucking indian channels the bollywood channels oh yeah yeah and um she watches all this bollywood shit and they're all made by t series so if I yeah. know one person is going to be supporting me, my mum. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, let me type in T-Series to make sure it's actually, it's actually the Indian one, isn't it? Is that, is that the yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the Bollywood thing where they put all the music videos out. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one, man. Like if you if you go on YouTube right now and type in PewDiePie vs. T-Series, there'll be a live count. Is it actually... Yeah, some guys made like 1.5 million subs just off hosting that live stream 24-7 called Flare TV. He started off with about 200k and it's gone up to like 1.5 mil, I think. Yeah, live right now. Flare TV, yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah. This guy's made, this guy's on one and a half million subscribers. Just from hosting. Just from hosting this (laughs) countdown. countdown, Yeah. Yeah. People are getting bear views of this shit, innit? Yeah, <laughs> stupid amounts. Oh, it is so over dramatic, definitely. But it's it's the internet. What do you expect? It's I don't know about you. Yo, listen, I can't even hear you. These are my people, man. Well, part of me anyway. <laughs> 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 you get me? So I subscribe, guys. Would you guys hate me if I did? Don't. Don't do it. Put the bell on as well. Oh my fuck! Go. <laughs> Who are we supporting right now? Huh? Dunia is out now. Okay. Yeah, I'm, nah, I'm done here. Nah, no. I'm leaving. Uh, you know, I, I, okay, I'll undo. I'll undo. I don't understand. Yeah, control Z fam. Yeah. <sighs> Let's talk about R. Kelly right now. My mind's telling me no. But my body. My body. Is telling me yes. I don't see nothing wrong with a bit of my mind. Okay, so let's type in R. Kelly right now. Guys, so R. Kelly, if you didn't know, he handed himself in. Okay, he got, he got, he got like, what is it? Was it alleged nine cases? I think it was. I think it was nine, nine cases. cases. And, he's and not uh, he handed himself in. I don't know why he handed himself in like that, but he did. Handed himself in. And his lawyer was like, he's innocent. And now he's pleaded not guilty to all the child abuse cases. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there was actually a, a, doc, a documentary series called Surviving R. Kelly. I've not watched all of it. I watched bits of it on YouTube. Um, and apparently six of the nine cases, uh, six of the nine cases were females between 13 to 17, which mm-hmm. is madness. Mad. Madness. So, what do you think about R. Kelly? Just, just in general, what do you think of R. Kelly? I mean, used to be all right. <laughs> Not anymore, fam. <laughs> Stop using Spotify because of him. Not on a level. I still like R. Kelly, you know. Until he's proven guilty, you know, one of them. Innocent till proven guilty. Innocent yeah, fair till enough. Gu- guilty. And I still love his music. Is the world's greatest. You know, one of them ones. Oh, yeah. And I believe I can flat your all on tracks, man. 
But apparently there's like a 55 minute sex tape that was handed in evidence. What, what, what recently? Uh-huh. During this? Okay, you know what yeah. though? You know, like I was joking, guys. I was actually uh, <laughs> I was just, just, uh, R. Kelly. You know, he's, oh man, you know he should be punished for even, <laughs> even though he's a fucking, <laughs> even though he's like like obviously in trouble for all this shit. I still like like I'm, I'm talking musically, by the way, as a musician. I think he's a fantastic musician. I think he's actually like it's almost a genius in terms of yeah. musical talent. Obviously, some of the shit he does about pissing on people, whatever. Obviously, that's wrong. But on a level, yeah. I like R. Kelly, man. I, lo- I love his music. Yeah, I grew up with his music. Can't really say much. If the guy gets done for 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 sexual abuse, then are there other yeah. are there, are there other life forms apart from us <clears throat> in space right now? I mean, apart from R. Kelly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I believe in aliens, man. I, I believe in aliens. Okay, tell me why. Why do you believe in uh, aliens? Right. Put it this way. It's taken this planet millions and millions of years to develop, right? Right, okay. But in the last couple of million years, like, so it's take, it took like 50 million years for water to even you know, be, become a part of this planet, like a decent, breathable environment that took 150 million years yeah. to support life, 250 million years. And then like, as soon as you start getting closer towards humanity, like there's been so much progression in the past million years. It's insane. You know what I mean? Like th- there's got to be some hand there. And then speaking about, you know, like, you know, the whole thing with Egypt and everything, we would struggle in this day and age to build what they built. Don't you think with our current technology that we have now, like the pyramids? Are you trying movement. to say, are you trying to say that you believe aliens made the pyramids? Yeah, that's a different topic. Okay, all right, let's go into that. You you think aliens? You think aliens came and built the pyramids? Well, yeah, because right, you know, like, there's all this like stuff like um like hieroglyphics of like slaves yeah, 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 yeah. building yeah. these pyramids and everything and they, they built massive ramps and there was like a hundred of them lifting one block have you seen the size of those blocks a hundred people could and not it's lift granite that. as well it's granite <clears> and <throat> the size of the pyramids and putting that stuff together like it's just insane it's nothing that can be done it, it would struggle to build that in this day and age you know what i mean i i i, I believe that we would be completely ignorant to think that we're the only life in the whole known universe, Milky Way, whatever. Because exactly. what, are, what are you, you two talking about? As well. Who's y'all that? Y'all don't even know who. Y'all you don't know, even know who's the KFC. <laughs> now that you're talking about aliens Yo, and force, humans. Listen, forcible, listen, listen, forcible. Do you believe that there are other life forms out there? Do you believe, do you believe that? Yeah. Have y'all not met Ron? Hello. He's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, forcible. Case thinks that Case thinks that the um, aliens came down and, and built the pyramids. They fucking did. There's no right. We struggled to do that in this day and age. <clears throat> all right, hang, hang on, hang on, that hang all on. them years ago. I respect that theory, but let's think about it for a second. An advanced species with technology to travel the stars comes to our planet and builds a a, a big pyramid out of rocks and says, "I right, yeet, we're out." That don't make no sense. If they're gonna no. build something, they ain't gonna build a stack of rocks and that, leave. Oh, if that's the case, then you gotta think. You gotta think. Then there's definitely some sort of uh, reason for the pyramids to be there. Maybe like it's gonna. I don't know. Uh, well, apparently, open, the, open like, you know the three pyramids call? of Giza. You know the three pyramids of Giza. They apparently line up with like stars <clears> in the sky <throat> perfectly. Even right, an architect you, in this day and age would struggle to do that. L- let me ask you a question. What's the reason for uh? The Eiffel Tower. What do you mean? Why? Why was? Why it did that? Why? Yeah. Why was? Why does the Eiffel Tower exist? Uh, I know this. Uh, Stand on it. It's it like to, no. It's commemorate the. Uh, well, it's to remember the French Revolution, right? Or the. Yeah. Right. What, right. Why does the Lenin Tower of Pisa exist? The what? Oh, that fucking bent building. I don't know. <laughs> Why, why does why does why does Big Ben exist? Tell the talker time in it. Yeah, <laughs> fucking people why, are blind I mean, over it. Everything has a reason for being built. Just because you don't know it doesn't mean aliens built it. 
there's no re there's no proven fact or reason to show why those pyramids. If we built wiped them. out every French person in history books saying why the French built Eiffel Tower and no one knew why, people would be like, I, "Why is this shit here? I don't know." Because it's All been right. documented. It wasn't documented at the time of it being yeah, built. That's not a reason to believe. Look, I I believe there's life. I just don't believe they had anything to do with the fucking pyramids. They they, <laughs> they had everything to do with all of humanity that's why we're here do you believe no, I... in elon musk's thoughts about life being a simulation i don't do Wait, what? I don't... This could... I... my life could be the truman show if you've seen that movie my life could be a tv yeah, show for all i know i don't know i'm not here <laughs> trying to get my meat wet and make money that's all i know <laughs> on a level on a, on a level i think okay I, I yeah i definitely believe there's there's like whether it's it might not be advanced it could just be like little microscopic life forms just forming somewhere else and it's going to take millions and millions and millions of years for them to actually become something but yeah i reckon there's, there's something over there I, I, like even the possibility of something being on mars i think is even possible like even microscopically possibly mm. yo why ain't y'all talking about the real <sighs> shit right now what about what? planet number nine let's talk about that oh What's my god that? wait are you talking about uh, wait plan uh, as in like nebru is that the one that, that, that planet that we know is there but can't find. Let's talk about some shit we know exists. How about that? It's like behind the sun or some shit, isn't it? Is that what they're saying? I, yeah, it's I, gonna be I, like... I don't know. If I knew where it was, I'd be a rich dude. <laughs> Imagine being so dumb. The ultimate epitome of the word dumb. Not special needs. That's different. But just straight up stupid that I you actually you, think yeah. that the planet is flat. Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> What earth is? You know, it's mad. It's it's mad. Like they they talk about the um, they talk about like like pictures of the earth being being fake when you go outside it and stuff like that. And like they talk about how the curvature of the earth is is fake. And, Do you um, know that the main the big theory is on flat earthers that the world is flat, right? Everybody knows that. And they believe, but also like a wall of ice, a wall of ice yeah, around the edge yeah. that the military, U.S. or not U.S. the the world militaries keep guarded. Yeah, Bitch, we can't even guard a, a mile length of river, and they think we out here guarding a wall of ice around the flat. Fucking planet. guard ourselves against fucking ISIS. They, they, they think we live in. They think we living in the, the land before time, and big little foot gonna come over here and find some <laughs> new <laughs> magical place of technology. What are they thinking? It's like, they, they, they seem to add random shit all the time. Like, every year there's something new with them. It's like, oh, the Earth's a donut now. Or, like, oh, oh, oh we're, in, we're in water. Did you, have you heard about that one? Like, the flat Earth's in, in water. Like, we're, we're, we're surrounded, we're in a bubble in space, and, and space is actually water. It's just stuff like that. Uh, Australia's uh, not real to them. Australia, Australia <laughs> doesn't exist. Like, Poor Aussies, dude. Well, like, I, I, yo, it's, yo, Hey and B's actually a fucking Android. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You know. she's, go she's Google AI. <laughs> <laughs> she's so Google Assistant. This is me off, you know. Right, leeches. So recently, guys, there was a little controversy. And uh, I, I think I, I remember the original tweet. I'm not going to name names just in case. I don't want to get in trouble. But, um, yeah, just don't name names. Just keep uh, it. Yeah, just keep yeah, it off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but there was a little tweet that came out. And uh, it was it was uh, from a fellow streamer. And uh, they said that about, about how people call them leeches... And uh, and that like there seems to be this little um, thing where streamers or like a smaller streamer feels they they can't interact with a bigger streamer without being seen as a leech. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts is on that. The, how, the, how the only feel? time somebody should be concerned that somebody's a leech is you can only never know after the fact unless something comes into the time of it happening so say, say say i was a leech say i was only joining the forcible and i was standing next to them and i was only speaking into the sole purpose of growth and then once yeah. i've got my growth i go into something bigger that is the definition of a leech if you're a small streamer and you're genuinely like hanging out with someone who's got a few numbers like it's it's not leeching it's not and, and people say it is there's, there's a really fine line bet between what leeching actually is and what it isn't let me let me let me break it down for y'all that quick <laughs> let, yeah, let me let me break it down i don't force us definitely something we to we <laughs> we play a social game okay? yeah this a, isn't a, call a of duty environment this isn't this isn't a normal kind of game you play on twitch so leeching it has a different meaning here i think so 
people like to say, oh, you're playing with a big boy. You're in the same world with a big boy. You must be On your streaming as well. On your right. streaming as That's well. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Here's the thing. Here's what I define a leech as. Let's, I'm going to use uh, me and Kay's example. All right. So I'm in a world and I'm dancing on stage, right? Um, I'm doing some dancing and having a good time. And Kay's walks in and goes, oh, shit. Hang on. Sorry. That was my phone. Oh, shit. There's, there's forcible. You know, they're dancing. People like watching that. So they go and sit up close to the stage and put their camera on me. And they leave it there the entire time. They don't talk to me. They don't interact with me. They don't interact with anyone in the room. They're just sitting there with another camera on me, sitting there. That is what I would call leeching. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that's what I'm but saying. Here's like, the thing. No interaction whatsoever, just... Yeah, they're just dreaming. there to observe, which yeah. I get it. Some people like to lurk, but in my opinion, lurking as a streamer doesn't really... Work. Isn't viable. Yeah. Um, and the other point I want to make is even if you were to come in and put a camera on me dancing, trying to use me as your content, that's not going to work. People are going to see, oh, this person's dancing and they just come to and my stream to for a better stream. quality exactly. stream. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. But the big controversy I saw on Twitter and I even commented on it was people calling all these little streamers leeches because they want to hang out with. I'm going to use my personal experience with me. Yeah. Um, I find that the most idiotic thing I've ever heard. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of little streamers. I know a lot of big streamers. I don't care who or what you do. As long as you genuinely, genuinely hang out with me or do something with me. Make conversation. You're, and yeah, you're, you're just, it's a social game. You're socially interacting. Yeah. Exactly. Now, if, I, if, as for the state, like, say if you say if you were doing a dance and mm -hmm. the streamer that was streaming you dancing, they'd be like, oh, let's watch Force real quick and then go into something else then that is not leeching. Just because you're there and you want to witness it yourself, but you're also streaming, people will be like, oh, why are you not focusing on your own, own stream kind of thing? But you're in a game, like, you're going to observe things, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I have no problem. If someone's talking, like, if Kay's is like, hey, blah, 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 we're talking for like 30 minutes, I'm like, hey, Kay's, I'm going to do a like, couple dances. And then I start dancing, and he turns his camera and watches me for those dances until I'm done. I don't even consider that legion. That's what I'd no. consider a collaboration exactly. because we're exactly. both interacting in a manner, and I don't mind him recording me. It's like a little break. I do it all the time. That's what I loved about Venerac. When we danced all the time, I got tired and sit down and just put my camera on Venerac dancing. Turns, I got right, to yeah. take a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool. That, that's, it's, it's a collaboration. So actually, it's kind of good forces here. So like, how, how do you think TwitchCon this year is going to compare to last year? Like, do you reckon it's going to be way bigger? Like, what, what's going on? Like, for VR chat, probably, right? For VR chat, I don't, uh, I, I was a, okay. Here's the thing. Uh, someone put it in perspective for me. To me, the hype from the VR chat community is a lot higher than it was last year. But at the same time, during this time last year, I was a mute. I didn't talk to anyone outside of my team. So. <laughs> How do I know what the hype right, is like right, 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 right. To me, it, it feels like there's like double, if not triple, the amount of VR chat players going to be there. And I, I'm like super pumped because the meetup last year, this year. Yeah. The, the meetup last year was like, what, 300 people or so? Two, 300 VR chat players. All, we all meet, met up at this one park. And I was thinking there was going to be like 50, you know, nerds there. And that was it. But no, dude, we walked up and it was like a fucking rave party up in there. It was crazy. It, you got to see all these people you saw every day. Like 60% of this crowd I gave a lap dance to as a mute female. And, they were, and it was fucking crazy. How's the relationship changed from when you go back? That's, yeah, that's it's, what I want to know. Yeah. It's extremely awkward. Because here's the thing. People, I'm trying to, like, I don't want, I want to say this in a way that I don't sound like a conceited prick, but it might come out that way. People would come up to me and they knew who I was. Right, right, um, right. Yeah. Like, oh, Forceful, what's up? And we're all wearing our Twitch badges, so that is the the godsend. Because they're like, oh, Forceful, what's up? I'm like, hey. And then I have to, like, pause and look at their badge and see their, like, tag. I'm like, oh, what up, this person? And then I'm like, okay, this is so-and-so. And then in my brain, their avatar goes through my head. And then my interactions with that person. And I'm like, oh, shit, what up, dude? And then, like, we'll talk. And, like, this is crazy, blah, blah, blah. But there's there's when you first meet someone, there's going to be, like, that, like, your computer lags. Your brain's going to be like, duh, <laughs> while you read their badge. And then you're going to be like, oh, shit, what up, homie? And then, you know, sometimes there'll be people you have no idea who the fuck they are, but they know you, and apparently you've talked to them, and you have to sit there and like, all right, I know who you um, are, but you don't want to be rude. Right. 
I'm just looking forward, so forward to being at the house and just like having everybody at all in one place. You know, it'll, be it's be so good. it'll be sick. Dude, I, I could I tell you what, last year when we went to TwitchCon, my goal was to make an impression for Kinetic. Uh, I wanted, because we were new, you know, we're a new team. We're all new streamers. And I was like, when we go to TwitchCon this year, we have to make a, an image. You know, yeah. we have to stand out, um, which wasn't hard. There's not, there weren't that many teams in VR chat anyway. Um, oh, yeah. And it's not like we're competing, but, you know, we were this team based on, you know, energy and, you know, uh, positivity. So I was like, let's throw a party. And I was like, if we throw this party, you know, let's make people that didn't come this year want to be there next year. Like, oh, like yeah. let's, let's do that. And I was curious if it worked. And then when TwitchCon was announced this year, I got people blowing up on me. Like, we got to do this party. And I'm like, oh, shit. I think I did too well of a job <laughs> last year. <laughs> because I don't know. Like, we got a nice house. And it says on the thing, no parties. And so did the last year's house. But there's so many more people wanting to come this year. I don't know what's going to happen. We might yeah. have to do, like, a, a public venue party or something for Kinetic. Because a house party might be out of the, like a fewer amount of people. Cut my feet on the seashells. Possible. Can we, like, can, can, can me and you, like, hold hands and walk down the beach? Is that possible? I'm going to hold hands with your beach. How about that? Oh, my God. <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to stop this here. This this first Mank Mondays featuring K's and, and Forcible halfway through. Thank you, Forcible. Yeah. Coming in and chiming some light onto some of the VR chat stuff. I appreciate yeah. it. Aliens didn't, aliens didn't build no pyramids. So. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. No, they did not, they dude. They did. Dude, you're about to fucking get these, yeah. you're about to get these hands. Yeah, what you say, I'm from Manchester. I don't give a fuck. You have to get these hands, right?